Good morning. Breakfast time. I'm hungry. I've got a little bit of leftover rice from yesterday, so I'm not going to waste it. Can I make a little rice pudding? This, this. Some raisins. Here, look. They look a bit weird, but they are raisins. Can you see them? There they are. Put some flour on. And I could do with a coffee. I'm going to fry these up, slice them up, fry them in some lard and some sugar. Um, I was just Googling, well, I asked Alexa, can you eat banana skin? Apparently you can. Apparently it's packed full of potassium. So I'm going to try and fry these up as well with this. Wow, I'm excited. This is what it's turned out like. That is rice pudding with raisins and caramelised banana and banana peel on top. I'm going to top it with some little seedies. I've got this, look. It's looking pretty good. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. And I've got enough for tomorrow. I think my mantra should now be, if I'm cooking, I need to do at least two portions out of it. A couple of my subscribers says that you can harden up limp bendy carrots by submerging them in cold water for a little while. So, fabulous tip. But you know, I do try and read all of the comments and try to reply to all of your comments. And I find some of the tips really useful. And I've had some really good ideas of what I can make with some of my budget food. So. Thank you ever so much, keep them coming. Nice to know I'm not just talking to myself and Jack. Give this a try. Never had banana skin before, as well as a banana. Mmm. Mm, it was lovely. Nothing wrong with that. I love putting raisins in porridge. And it sort of rehydrates them, don't it, doesn't it? Makes them plump. Mmm. Happy Sunday. I don't know whether you're aware, but a few weeks ago, I decided to put some glue in the hair extensions in my head. Um, and it was a disaster. I ended up having to pull them out and it's left me with some bald spots. I just want to show you. There's one here. Can you see that one? Right, look right there. I hope it grows back, but I don't know. And then I think I've got one on the back of my head. Hang on. This one is really bad, look. I might try and cover it with some eyeshadow. I'm sure I spotted another one. There, maybe. Not the best. Anyway, I genuinely think I'm having a bit of a bad hair day. Just look at this stuff at the top. I'm just going to put a hat on today. Uh, there's Mimi. I need to tell you a little something about what happened to Mimi last night. So this little Mimi came in late last night. And he was covered in stuff. I don't know what he'd been up to. Yeah. And look at the bed. His fur is everywhere. I feel like he's been in some kind of like massive scrap. Can't see any damage to him. Mm. But I love you. I love you being a good you see. Hope he's going to be okay. Right. We can't keep worrying about cats and bald spots in your head. We've got chicken and carrots to look at. Looks like a glorious day out there. Ah, carrots. Let's see how these are turning out. Now apparently these are going to be harder now. Left them in cold water for a little while. Not so bendy. Wow, that's a tip that really works. Game changer. So we've got four carrots left. Four chicken drumsticks and cabbage. I have an idea involving spicy rice paprika okay <laughs> can i sneeze oh too late i've sneezed health and safety you will be pleased they've taken my false nails off had a few comments about that going they look a bit gross when cooking so they've gone peer pressure it worked so in my spice cupboard i'm going with paprika ginger and garlic that is what i'm feeling so i'm gonna marinate this there's some oil on those chicken drumsticks and i'm going to get the spices in there 
and then I leave it for about half an hour while I pop out. This is the last of my garlic powder, which is good because I'm trying to use things up in that spice arena. Even if we have, oh, even if we have the most random spices known to man going on over the next few months, who cares? Let's use the spices up. That's what we want, empty containers. There we go. I'll put some salt and peps on there as well. We love a bit of salt and peps. Right, little guys, have a lovely marination. I need to sort out the carrot and the cabbage. Yes, good day to you. Right, so I want to keep one of these carrots because somebody suggested I could use it in a carrot and raisin salad, which I think is a lovely idea. So thank you, subscriber, whoever said that. This one's looking the worst. I think maybe this one I can just chop up and then use it in that thing. And these ones I'm going to use in this dish of joy with a little bit of this cabbage, the legend that is Mr. Cabbage. He lasts and lasts and lasts like a Duracell battery. He never goes mouldy. No, he doesn't. No. Scrap that. I'm only going to use two in this dish. I think it's going to be too much for a deal, all three. I'm not feeding the 5,000. Just me. If you don't know by now, but I really, really love cabbage. Not only does it last a long time, it's really versatile. This white bit, the inner bit, I always think is a little bit like an onion. So if I don't have onion, I will use cabbage. But then the outer leaves are like a wrap. It's just the vegetable that just keeps giving. The gift that keeps on giving. Thank you. So as you can see, I've put about half in with the chicken and I'm gonna leave the rest. So I've got a bit of crunch going on. I'm a bit worried about Beanie, Jack. He seems a shell of his former cat. He usually he's confident. Look, it looks like an old man. Are you right, Bean? Sweetie, it's okay. Usually he'd be biting me by now, running about the garden. And he's just like, I don't know, timid and a bit weird. Yeah, look, there's definitely been some drama because another cat has weed on here. Oh, it might be Winston. Winston's the local bully cat. He's bullied Jack since Jack's arrival two years ago. I feel like he's been duffed up last night and now he's like got PDSD, but cat version. I have got this rice concoction which was in my fridge um, out of the fridge and I'm going to use it for today's lunch luncheon as you can see here I've got a knob of lard percolating away I've chopped up some of the greens a little bit better in there they're just sauteing away in the aforementioned lard and then I'm going to pop the pre-cooked rice in to make almost like a little fried rice of joy I've just seasoned the rice with salt and peps and look at the sizzle on this. Looks mighty fine. As I hope it's cooked. Behold, paprika, balsamic, chicken drumsticks with cabbage and carrot, and leftover rice stir fry with greens cooked in lard, salt and peps. Let's eat. It's 12.39pm, it's officially time for lunch I've got my chicken and rice, it's smelling really nice And I can't wait to see if there's a crunch I'm so excited about this one Look, you see that? I don't know if it wants to focus, probably not Nice bite of food, ready? Mmm. Yes, dreamy. So good. That is spectacular. 10 out of 10.